Hi everyone, I'll be in front of the camera in just a second, but I wanted to let you know that I've decided to go ahead and take this table pad off of this kitchen table for a little while. Uh, and I wanted to show you these table pads from affordabletablepads.com. No, I do not get paid or anything else for mentioning them, but I love their table pads. And I thought you guys might be interested in taking a peek at one if you have a table that needs to be covered before you put your tablecloth on, or as you have seen, I have just used it as my tabletop because you can order it in a color that will kind of match the tabletop. There you can see that's the top of our table and you can see how close it matches. What they'll do is they'll send you a big piece of paper that you'll need to trace the, uh, the outer edge of your table on and you'll have to measure very precisely, and you'll have to mention how many, um, how many leaves that you might need. Uh, for this table, we, we needed two leaves. We have one leaf in the table right now, right, right here, but we really needed two, and actually last Christmas, Chris, not last Christmas, but the Christmas before, Chris actually had to make one uh, to match because we did not have time to order another leaf. But anyway, I wanted to show you how they fold up. They fold up in half like that very nicely. There's felt on the back of them so they do not scratch your table. That is felt. And or, <laughs> actually it's a, I guess it's a felt of some sort. It's a kind of like what they put on the top of pool tables, whatever that is called. And then this one folds like this. And we store these under our bed. That's where they're stored. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that and I will give you a link in the description for affordabletablepads.com. Let you take a peek at their website. All right, I'll be right back behind the camera, or in front of the camera <laughs> in just a few minutes. Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today on this fine Friday afternoon, can you believe another week has passed? I just can't. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, time just flies by way, way, way too quickly. Honest to Pete, it does. But today I'm gonna to be bringing you a little bit of a hodgepodge video. Chris and I have been busily about already for quite a while today. It is later in the afternoon, so you guys might not be seeing this till later on Friday evening. I will try my best to get this up on Friday though. My apologies if it is a little later. Uh, we took, uh, have been every week this, every day this week, we have taken a load of old furniture, old, stuff to either the Goodwill or to the dump. Now, let me preface this by saying, I know some of you don't care to take your things to the Goodwill, but my Goodwill is locally managed. My local Goodwill, where I go to every time, is managed by one of my old band kids and by a good friend of mine, son. And I know what happens to my stuff, not necessarily my stuff, but the stuff out of that store. So. Uh, please don't give me a hard time for taking, for donating to Goodwill. Uh, I also don't usually put things on uh, Facebook, uh, what is it called, Marketplace, and I don't try to sell my things. Uh, we would rather give and donate and have somebody who is in need uh, be able to utilize some of the things that we take. If it's not good enough to keep, we take it to the dump. So it's either, usually I either donate to Goodwill or the Salvation Army, who I did that, you know, funky bow class for that one time, or I do, we take it to the dump. And those are the three things that we do. I don't sell on consignment. I don't sell my stuff to anyone, anytime, anywhere, ever. If I'm going to, you know, give something to somebody, I give it. I don't ever sell it. Uh, so... But anyway, I just wanted to let you kind of preface this by saying this, because every time I say I take my stuff to Goodwill, somebody comes back at me with, with a story as to why I shouldn't, but that's why I do utilize my own Goodwill. So anyway, Chris is outside, and he we have a trailer that we always keep in the woods, that he keeps in the woods, 
and that's been attached to the back, or he's been attaching it and, un, you know, unhooking it and hooking it up to the outback, one of our outbacks all week and every day this week. So now we're done. We're fin pretty much finished. We're getting rid of some stuff in the basement, still working on our big purge, you know, and we got rid of a lot of things and hopefully a lot of people will be able to utilize some things. But if you hear rumblings going on, that's him with his ATV pulling the trailer and maybe getting out the lawnmower and mowing and doing weed whacking and doing things outside. So if you hear rumblings and grumblings in the background, that's Chris out there working. So uh, real life stuff happening around here. <laughs> uh, we also today wrapped uh, Mav's gift and we, uh, both of us made up some deviled eggs. Candace asked me to bring deviled eggs tomorrow. So I did not put that on camera, but I do have a video that I will link in the description box below of me making two of my summer favorites, uh, my, my deviled eggs, which everybody usually really likes, and my strawberry shortcake, which is easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'll leave you a link in the description that will do both of those little summer recipes for you guys. The bonus today on in today's video. Not I'm not going to show it to you today, but I just put it on video not too too long ago. So, but anyway, in today's video, we are going to be working on my dough bowl and very quickly <laughs> putting it back together for the rest of the summer. And uh, you already saw the little video of me taking the affordable table pad off of the kitchen table. And uh, so that, Chris went ahead and took it back and put it under the bed. And so I'm gonna leave the, the pretty table to be uh, you know out for a while because it's really pretty and I've missed seeing it. So I just, I'm just gonna be using this uh, table runner, which is just like a burlapy looking very thick, very nice. I got this at, uh, what in the world was that store called? Uh, Tuesday morning. It's closed now. We don't have it open anymore, but this is a beautiful, uh, very, very nice table runner. So I'm going to be using that table runner, and then I'm going to be flanking it again with these beautiful candlesticks that I got from D over there at the Thrill of the Thrift, which is another uh, YouTube channel. I'll give you a link for her in the description too. She always goes to estate sales and whatever and resells what she finds. And she found these. And one of you guys had emailed me and said, Arlen, Arlen, you need to go check out, you know, what Dee's got going on over there. And somebody else did that this week and I never have gotten over to look at that video. I've been so busy. I'm so sorry. Uh, but anyway, she also sent me the candles and trust me, I have looked for these grungy candles, uh, from one end of the earth around to the other and cannot, I made a circle around the globe looking for these grungy taper candles, cannot find them for in a navy blue. I can find them in browns and reds and rusts and yellows, but no navy blue. So anyway, but these beautiful candlesticks will flank the dough bowl. So let me go ahead and turn my camera. Also in this video, let me back up and say, also I have a couple of questions, I think, and then a little bit of Mischief with Maverick. And I also have, right after I'm done the dough bowl, we're gonna be doing a Vera Bradley outlet haul, and I'm gonna show you what I got from there. So, let's get started. I've already yammered six minutes, you guys. Six minutes, I can talk a blue streak. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back up to get my camera turned. Okay, here's my dough bowl, and as you can see, I've already got it kind of decorated. And I will explain what I've done with it here. Uh, the dough bowl I got from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. It's a couple of years old now, you guys. I got it in their spring shop, I believe at the end of the season or end of the summer, something like that for like 90% off. I got it on crazy deep sale. And I think it was like 130 to begin with and whatever, 90% off of that I paid for it. And I have used it and reused it and reused it over and over and over again. I love my dough bowl. It is big, it is bold, and it makes a wonderful statement for my kitchen table, which is kind of big and bold. <laughs> and I need kind of a big centerpiece for that table. So, or I enjoy, let me put it that way. I don't need it, uh, but I really enjoy having a big uh, centerpiece on that table. So as you can see here, uh, below this, this right here is a garland that I have mixed uh, one of those blue and green leaf 
garlands that I got from out of the fall department at Michael's a couple of years ago. And remember, um, Lisa Sagardia just sent me a whole of like three more, bless her heart, which I will utilize in the fall. I can't wait to use those. But I have one of those garlands that I bought back a couple of years ago wrapped in one garland of cream mixed pitberry garland from Hobby Lobby. This was $10. And, uh, and then I've got it wrapped in white fairy lights, which I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that in just a second. And then, but underneath, I just have a green garland just for filler, you guys. This green garland, you may be able to look through and see some of it if you look at the dough bowl when I'm finished decorating it. But honestly, the green, this green garland is just in for filler to help hold up the decor that I'm gonna put in, the florals. And then I'm going to be utilizing three of these beautiful little resin hearts that I got from Pier One before they close. Now, I hear they have a website. I will be honest with you, I have not been on their website, so I have not searched for these. You're welcome to go on pier1.com, I guess, and search for hearts, and you may be able to find them, but these are rather old, too. I did not buy anything for this decor. In fact, this is not, I haven't bought much to redecorate back into the blue and white, have I, you guys? So, but this is all things I've had in my coffers. And for those of you who've been with me a while, you've seen the dobo done up like this. But anyway, let me show you about the fairy lights. This is the fairy light box. It usually takes three AA batteries. It has a lot of different settings on it that you can uh, go through and set the lights to blink in combination or in wave or in sequential slow go, chasing flash, slow fade, twinkle flash, steady on or off. You can still use the settings, but Chris has rigged them up in his way and I'm not gonna go into detail. I can't because I don't really understand what he does. But if you would like to try to rig up a set of fairy lights or battery operated candles and put a USB plug on it and then plug it in, in this case, into an external battery and light up your fairy lights that way. And the fairy lights will stay on as long as the battery lasts. You see, I've, I've just uh, charged this and there's 100% charge in this battery pack. And it'll last a few days. Uh, of course, it's not a fire hazard or anything like that, but let me see here. There you can see I've turned them on. I just used the button on the, on the box. It also, the fairy lights also come with the remote. You can always find the fairy box, fairy lights in my Amazon uh, storefront gift idea box. There we go. We got steady on gift idea box under lighting, I think, or under lights. So as you can see, I've got it kind of wrapped around already and I want to finish wrapping it, but I want to snug this battery pack and the bat box of the battery box kind of underneath this and hide it underneath the, the foliage or foliage, whichever way you'd like to say it. <laughs> that one lady gave me a hard time that one time. Drove her crazy that I pronounced it foliage. foliage. She said, Arlen, it's not aluminum foil. <laughs> I said, no, it's not, I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, I am using one of Bella D Designs. This is her small lantern. This is her the small lantern that she makes. She makes of this size and she makes one a little bit bigger. And this is the small one and it matches. Look how well it matches that dough bowl, you guys. It, could, it was like it was made to go with this dough bowl. So I love it. And in this, I had a, what did I have in here? Patriotic figurine in here. So I have a ramekin kind of uh, upside down, sitting down in the, in the lantern. So what I'm gonna do, instead of anybody patriotic, I'm actually, sometimes I'll put a candle in, uh, but this time I'm gonna use this little fairy girl. Look how pretty she is in blue, in her blue. And I am going to put a couple of glue dots on her base so that she will not move around because we do lift this off the table sometimes 
so we can eat at the table when we have company especially. So I'm gonna be using some glue dots, which wow. you can see in my Amazon storefront under uh, the box is called, I think, craft, craft supplies. So I am going to go ahead and put a few glue dots on her, the base of her here. Usually use four, I try, I've tried to do just two, but it, it invariably will make her tilt if I don't make it even, like put four on then she won't tilt one way or the other. Pull this over and put my camera down here so y'all can see a little better. Okay, I'm gonna try to center her on the... How did I get her in here? Maybe she didn't need the ramekin. Maybe I just had her sitting in there, huh? I don't think she need, I don't think she's as tall, sorry. I don't need the ramekin. She's going to sit right in there <laughs> on the bottom of the, the lantern, which is okie dokie. There we go. Okay. Now, the other thing I have here are these hearts. And I'm really not going to go crazy with these. Uh, I did the last time put a ramekin down in the bottom. To help hold them up a little bit these two on this side like that and then on this side I may put this ramekin down here since I didn't have to use it for her and set this part up on that and that will hold it up and I'm gonna be reaching underneath there to get the batteries often and everything so I'm not gonna glue dot that on I think I'm just gonna let it sit there like that and how pretty is that that looks just, just adorable, just like that. And the only other thing I have to put in here, I have some blueberries and I have some hydrangeas and I have some gold leafing. And if you look at the candlesticks, you can see that they have a little bit of gold on them. So I'm just gonna Stick some here and there. I'm not gonna go crazy with this stuff. It doesn't need to be full of hydrangeas. I may not even use all of them. And I think that's good. Now I'm just gonna stick some blueberries in. I took all of the greenery out that I had stuck coming over the sides. I want it to be more of a, like this, I took all of this out. I want it to be a more subtle design. I do have some more of these blueberries down here. I just want it to be soft and subtle. So just a little bit of blueberries, and then that's gonna do it, y'all. And with the blueberries, and let me put the, gold leafing in. one more so I really need another one but we'll leave it like that for now unless I come across another one and that my friends will do it as you can see it's not wasn't difficult at all not at all but it's just Soft and subtle and pretty, but yet it makes a huge statement. I love it. I absolutely love it. 
So, at the end of the video, I'll take a few pictures and show you this in place. I love it. Okay, here I am back in front of the camera again. <laughs> I'm really happy with how that turned out. And I totally did not remember that, that the fairy did not need a ramekin. What you find out as through trial and error, you know? <laughs> anyway, I think it looks really super pretty. I think it'll be perfect for the rest of the summer. You know, as we're traveling and coming and going, it'll just be here and being pretty and it'll set the tone for what I wanna do my fall decor. You know, I'm not sure what I'll do with it. I don't know whether I might get another, maybe a fall figurine to put in there, a little scarecrow, something like that. Do something a little different. I'm not sure, but I know I have my blue pumpkins to put in there, my blue felt pumpkins. So they'll be pretty. All right, let's move on into my Vera Bradley outlet, uh, online outlet haul. And I I know some of you might not have seen it, but I did put an announcement in my community post uh, announcing that it was up and running. So please do keep an eye on my community post moving forward. It is closed down now, but they do do it a lot more than they used to. They only used to do it like a couple of times a year, and now they've been doing it about four times a year. So, and you can really make out like a bandit. I will have to get out my receipt. I did not think to get that out. Uh, I did not spend a copious amount of money on this. And, I, and honestly, I'm not going to worry about giving you prices other than to tell you, I think the regular prices are on this. So you can think you can, they were on sale. And then I got another 30% off of the, to, you know, the, the sale price. So I got a great deal on all of these little items that I got. And all of these items are in Marion, I want to say this is Marion Floral, I believe, is the uh, is the pattern. If I'm not, I'll correct myself. If I'm not right, I'll correct myself. But anyway, this is uh, a glasses case. You can put sunglasses, or these are my you know my reading glasses. I love it. I bought all of these things to go in my backpack. I'm going to be carrying my backpack. I'm not taking. You know, I bought that uh, straw purse. And I may put that in my in my luggage, but I'm not gonna carry that as my purse, like driving to Myrtle or driving to Daytona Beach. Uh, I'm going to use my backpack with my computer in it and all of my um, charging cables and cords and everything I need for my computer, because I'm sure I'm gonna be doing something on the way down there. Uh, but everything that I bought will go is to go in my backpack. So this is a glasses case, I love it. It was an original, let me get my glasses out <laughs> of my nice sweet glass, glasses case. This was an origi originally $29 and I believe it was on clearance and then I got another 30% off of it. And it's got like the, what do you call that? Uh, kind of a latch top, you know, I love it. So that's cute, I had never seen one of these from Vera. So it's really, really pretty. So I got that. Then I got just a little um, card case. This is actually to put my business cards in uh, because invariably I get talking to people and say, oh, I've got a YouTube channel or I've got a blog and I, you know, I wanna give them one of my cards. So I will take a bunch of my cards and put them in my backpack. And then I got another sunglasses case or another, this is actually a double glass case. This little thing was, sorry, $15, again on clearance and then 30% off more. I mean, this was like two, $3, if that. And then I got a double glass case. Here's one and here's another. And this was originally $25 because I wear sunglasses and I always take an extra, I wear, always take two pairs of these just because I invariably will misplace one, you know? And I usually take a couple pairs of sunglasses too, so. But then I got me an, uh, a little wristlet, this is really cute, that I can take out of the backpack and carry with me. This is, I'll show it to you, this was $65 originally, y'all on clearance and then another 30% off. I think this might have been 20 or $25. But there this is really cute because it's got so it holds your cell phone. Look, you unsnap and then it's got kind of like a 
a little pocket there and my cell phone fits in there beautifully. And then it's got another little zipper compartment back behind that. You can stick some dollar bills in or whatever, it'll change. Then you open it like this. And on this side is where all your credit cards, your license and all of that go. And I believe it's RFID, yes, it's RFID protected, which is important for travelers. So I believe mostly all of Vera's wallets and purses, are, well, at least their wallets are RFID protected now, so. Which means that somebody can come by with like a scanner and scan your credit card number or anything, you know? And then it has one little wristlet on it, a little, you know, and you can unhook this if you want. It has a little metal hook there. And you can unhook this if you don't want to take that, you know? But how cute, so pretty, so soft. And if I want to just take this out of my backpack, carry it into a store, I can throw it over my, on my wrist and be done with it, you know? Cute, 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 I love it. So I got those four things, but this is, I saw this, I wasn't even gonna buy anything. To be honest with you, I wasn't. I was like, oh, I can't find anything I like. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Then I came across this pretty tote bag. Look at this. <laughs> and I told Chris, I said, I wanna leave this in the car, put this in the car, and we're gonna carry like our snacks in this, you know? Uh, or even use it as a bag to go into the grocery store with, you know, another shopping bag. Or it can be used, uh, one of the girls can use it as a beach bag. I just thought this would be cute for the beach trips. You know, to keep in the car, to keep extra stuff in the car, whatever we want. This was originally $70. But it is super pretty. And it's got a pocket in the front there, a zipper pocket. It was all the way down to almost the bottom. And then inside of it, there's no zippers or anything inside. But look at the inside, isn't that pretty? It's got little watermelon halves and all kinds of wedges and strawberries and, oh, it's so pretty. And it is a big bag, look how big. You know, it's got a leather bottom so you can wipe it clean. So nice, so pretty. So I picked this up. I had never seen it on their outlet before, but I thought it was super pretty. So I picked that up and I think I will utilize that for who knows what, but it's gonna stay in the car. I think it's gonna stay in the car. So, all right, that's it. That's all I got for my, uh, for my Vera Bradley outlet, A little shopping spree there. I have not been buying much, you guys. I haven't been, I haven't been buying hardly any decor at all. Um, and I, I've been buying some clothes. I bought those bathing suits and whatnots and tops. You know, I did buy those, those poncho tops. But honestly, my, my paycheck is, is, you know, I'm not spending a lot of my paycheck. So that's good. And Chris, of course, uh, my clothes, <laughs> to be quite honest with you, we do, uh, my money usually just goes into the kitty. And we always just spend what, you know, we need to. I try not to go over the amount I got paid for my crafting though and my decorating. I will say that I keep that number in mind and monthly I try not to go over that so that it spills over into our coffers because I like to spend my own money that I've made for my channel and I turn the money right back around and put it back in my channel. Anyway, I'm, you know, I don't feel too guilty about spending a little bit of money on Vera, you know, not at all, because I really haven't been a crazy, crazy spender as of late. <laughs> all right, let me grab my computer here, and I'm gonna check for my questions. I'm getting close to getting having to get my hair done. Can you tell? I washed it this morning. It's always the day I wash my hair. It's the worst day ever, you know, for it to look like anything. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Uh, Oh, I use talk to text to, to text to my kids and I guess I really flubbed up or Siri doesn't understand my accent and my kids are giving me a hard time on text here. <laughs> okay, I wrote them back. <laughs> All right, let's see here. My sticky's up. And let's see. Okay, I've got uh, number one is from Sharon Connor. 
What a beautiful bow. I hope you and Chris are having a wonderful week. I can't remember if I've asked this question before or not. If so, please forgive me. But how do you determine the type of bow used in a project? Uh, with Sharon, I honestly don't have like a cheat sheet for that kind of thing. I kind of just look at the project that I'm working with and decide. I make three three different types of bows and within the funky bow, I make four different funky bows, you know, or actually five different funky bows. So if it's a smallish project, I usually use a tiered bow. Uh, for the bigger, more bold projects, I'll use the funky bow. And the round bow I use more sporadically. I don't use the round bow a lot because I, it's, the funky bow looks a lot like the round bow, you know, that I make. So, and if you all want to see what bows I'm talking about, I have a Bow 101 series always linked right on my front page of my, my main page of my YouTube channel. You can always go to that playlist and it is linked in the description box too, uh, Bow Making 101. So, I honestly don't have a way, you know, anything specific like a, a point A, B, or C to explain how I do it. It's just that I look at the project and I see how big it is and I see if I want the, the main body of the project, for instance, to be the, you know, what speaks to me or do I want the bow to make a big statement, you know? Uh, wreaths, I usually use a big funky bow in, my, in the middle of my swags. The other day I used that 10 loop funky bow for my cozy corner, you know? So it just, it just depends on what I'm making and I just decide from there. I wish I could give you like a, a, a cheat sheet or something to go by, but I, I honestly, I just do what I think looks the best. And I make the, the bow loops on the funky bow, for instance, as big as I think I need it to be for the, for the size of the project. I don't have a specific size loop that I make. Although I will say most of my funky bows are, uh, the loops are usually five and a half inches to six inches. And the most important part of a funky bow is to make sure that all of your loops are of consistent size. The, the, the length of the tail doesn't make that much of a difference because you can always cut the tail shorter. Make sure you get it long enough, but you can always cut the tail shorter. 22 inches is about my, the, my favorite uh, length for funky bows. I've kind of settled into that. But I wish I could help you more with that, Sharon. I, but I just, there's nothing that I do that's, like I say, like on a cheat sheet or that I could do A, B, C, or D and tell you. It's just kind of, I do what I think looks right. <laughs> Uh, what I, my explanation has helped a little bit though. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for the question, Sharon. Number two is from Linda Diane. Uh, hi, Arlen. I love the lamb's ear wreath. It is so pretty in the, in the peaked frame. Oh, yes. I've got a question. Not sure if it's been asked before. So here goes. Does Chris have a computer of his own? My husband has a desktop, but hardly uses it. I do everything from my laptop and enjoy your YouTube channel. It's scorching hot here in Seattle this week. Hope you have a wonderful vacation with family. I'm gonna be coming to Seattle, Miss Missy. <laughs> Not for very long though, I won't be there very long. Catching a cruise out of Seattle this year. Uh, Chris does have a laptop, he has a laptop. We don't have a desktop anymore. We just found that we enjoy our laptops more than the desktop because they are, you know, pick up and carry and they go anywhere with us. And I do everything on my laptop that I would do on a desktop. There are not, there are, that's, now that's not to say I wouldn't yearn for one of those big iMacs. I, I'm an Apple user, big iMacs with a big fat screen in front of me. So I could really do some editing or look at some pictures and really, you know, do that. I have, I've yearned for that. And actually this desk, the shelving in there, I could clean out the shelves and put the, put the um, screen in there and have the keyboard down on the top of the desk and everything. Um, the drawer of that desk opens up and there's plugs in the desk. It's made, it's like a media center desk. Uh, but we just don't, I, I, every time I think that I might like an iMac, which are actually cheaper than the laptops, I use a MacBook Pro uh, with a lot of, I've, I've got a lot of terabytes of space. It's a, it is a workhorse. My, my little laptop here, it's a 15 inch MacBook Pro 
and it is a workhorse and I don't want to give it up. It's getting old now and I don't want to give it up because <laughs> it's just, it's my little baby. You know, I can do so much on it, but I do all of my computer work, all of my editing, everything, everything, everything on my laptop. So, uh, but Chris also does on his laptop and he has a MacBook Pro too that he uses. So, but that's his computer. So yeah, he does. He definitely has his own computer for sure and does a lot of work on it and does a lot of things on his computer. So there we go. That's all the questions I have. Just two there. And I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. Uh, this weekend, we're going to be celebrating Mr. Maverick's first birth birthday. Uh, and Candace is having to throw in a little party for him. And uh, so we're going there. Just family, I believe. Just family. And... Uh, Maybe a couple of friends too, I think. And uh, so we're going to be doing that. And that's why I made my deviled eggs. <laughs> and uh, other than that, uh, we have something special to get ready for next week that I can't tell you about yet. I'll tell you that next week though. I may not be back till late Tuesday or Wednesday. If I'm honest, I may have to skip Monday's video. In fact, I probably will. Uh, I don't know whether I'll bring you a video this weekend. I just don't know whether I'll have the time, you guys. So, but be patient with me. It will be worth it, I promise. <laughs> and uh, then I'll come back with a little bit of a surprise. I may come back on Monday with a little something, something. If you have any questions, as always, leave me questions. Uh, but uh, other than that, I think I'm gonna go into my final words and tell y'all to have a great weekend. I hope that you are able to see those you love and who love you. If you can't see them, I hope you get a chance to talk with them and always tell them you love them before you say goodbye. So uh, let me go into my final words and say, again, thank you all for stopping in here. And for those of you who may be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that someone is there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. I will come back on Monday because I'll tell you, at the very least, I'll tell you about Maverick's birthday party. At the very least. I may do something else, but I'll at the very least tell you about Maverick's birthday party and maybe reveal the hutch and the desk and the corner cabinet to you guys. That's what I'll do on Monday. I will definitely try to come back on Monday. <laughs> all right, all right. So with all that said, <laughs> I'll just say until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing too. For those of you, my subscribers have gone up. Like, oh my goodness, I've gotten like 20 in the last couple of days. Thank you guys, all you new subscribers. Thank you so much or, or re-subscribers, whomever. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But with all that said, we'll morph into a couple pictures of the table and then the little bit I have to share with mischief, with our mischief and, uh, here I go again, mischief with Maverick segment. Y'all have a great weekend. Love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits. Bye-bye.